Assalamualaikum, hi everyone. Let's continue our lesson for new subtopic volume for Unit Six Measurement for Science Year Three. Okay, which vehicles can take more people? A bus can take more people because it is bigger. Therefore, the volume of the bus is greater than a van. So, bus can take more people because the bus is bigger. So, therefore, the volume of the bus is greater than the van. So, what is volume? Volume is the amount of space which can be filled with solid, liquid, or gas. Right? Okay. Volume is the amount of space which can be filled with solid, liquid, and gas. Okay. This one. Okay. Volume is measured using measuring tools and is expressed in suitable units. Observe the object below and their unit. Okay. Let's look for our first picture here. The first one, the pink picture. So the volume of the cotton mag is expressed in milliliter or ml, right? Milliliter or ml. This one, All right? So picture number two. Look for the yellow one here. The yellow one. All right. The volume of bottle of water is expressed in liter and written as l. All right. Liter. All right. So picture number three. Picture number three. The volume of water tank is expressed in cubic meter in cubic meter and written as m3. Okay, let's move for measuring the volume of hollow boxes. Can we measure the volume of hollow boxes? How? What is the volume of the these hollow boxes? Right. So, actually we can measure the volume of hollow boxes using 1 cubic centimeter cubes, okay? By using one cubic centimeter cubes, okay. By using this one, all right. The volume of the hollow boxes is equal to the number of one cubic centimeter cube that fill the hollow space, okay. The volume of the hollow box is equal to the number of one cubic centimeter cubes that fill the hollow space, all right. The box need eight one cubic centimeter cubes to fill to fill the hollow space. Those the volume of the hollow boxes is at cubic centimeter, right? At cubic centimeter. Measuring the volume of liquid, Lim, Langi, and Aisha bought a carton of milk. They want to know whether the volume of the carton of milk is the same as the level of the carton. The volume of the carton milk is 200 milliliters. Is the volume exactly 200 milliliters? Let's measure it. All right. What are the suitable tool for measuring the volume of liquid? The volume of liquid can be measured using a cylinder or beaker. Okay. The volume of liquid can be measured by using cylinder and beaker. Okay. Cylinder and beaker. Lim Langi Nasha measure the volume of the carton of milk. The volume is two hundred and ten milliliters. No. The volume is 190 milliliters. My volume reading is exactly 200 milliliters. Who has the correct volume reading? Why? The correct reading was taken by Aisha because the position of her eyes is at the level of the meniscus. Okay? The correct reading was taken by Aisha because the position of her eye is at the level of the meniscus. Okay, this one. Okay? Her eye is at the level of the meniscus okay so the meniscus is the curve on the surface of the liquid in the container okay the meniscus is the curve on the surface of the liquid in the container all right this is the menis meniscus okay so the volume of an ir irregular shape solid lim langi nasha measure the volume of the carton of milk the volume is 210 milliliters. No, the volume is 190 milliliters. My volume reading is exactly 200 milliliters. Who has the correct volume reading? Why? The correct reading was taken by Aisha because the position of her eyes is at the level of the meniscus. Okay? The correct reading was taken by Aisha because the position of her eye is at the level of the meniscus. Okay, this one. Okay? Her eye is at the level of the meniscus. Okay. So the meniscus is the curve on the surface of the liquid in the container. Okay. The meniscus 
is the curve on the surface of the liquid in the container all right this is the menis meniscus okay let's move for our last subtopic here the volume of an irregular shaped solid how do we find out the volume of an irregular shaped solid actually the volume of an irregular shaped solid is determined by water displacement method okay water displacement method the volume of the displaced water is equal to the volume of an object so the volume okay the volume of displaced water actually equals to the volume of an object okay look this picture okay this is the displaced water this is the displaced water if we put this stone in the water so actually the volume of displaced water here displaced water here equal to the volume of the object okay let's look for method number one so let's look for this uh, one initial volume is 20 ml water okay after we throw a stone here the final volume will be 30 ml so we can find the final volume for the stone so just count it the final volume minus initial volume 30, 30 ml minus 20 ml so we get we'll get the volume of the stone is 10 ml all right method number two the volume of displaced water actually equal with volume of stone okay how to do that okay we use the eureka cane here we will use the eureka cane before and after right this one is before this one and after all right okay let's do some revision for this topic all right the measuring units for area and volumes are let's look for area first okay for area the unit for square centimeter the symbol is cm2 square meter m2 square kilometer km2 for volume here okay for volume here the unit for milliliter is ml liter is l cubic centimeter cm3 cubic meter is m3 so number two there are two types of surface area okay there are two types of surface area the first one is regular surface number two is irregular surface so the area is measuring using number one one cm times one cm pepper square and also a graph pepper so area can be measured by using one cm times one cm pepper square and graph pepper the volume of hollow box is measured using one cm time one cm time one cm size cube number five volume of an irregular shape solid is measured by water displacement method okay the, what the volume of irregular shape can be measured by water displacement method okay number six the volume of liquid is read with the position of i at the level of the meniscus all right the volume of liquid is read with the position of i at the level of the meniscus okay position of i at the level of the meniscus all right number seven measurement is important in daily life to calculate area and volume accurately to avoid wastage okay what is important of measurement so it, it, it is uh, important in our daily life to calculate area volume accurately to avoid wastage all right so that's all for today thank you very much